hey y'all how are you guys doing welcome back to the channel it's your girl Shanice if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell before you go so you don't miss out on any of these amazing recipes as you guys can see from the thumbnail the title we'll be making some brown butter banana bread now ever since I made the brown butter chocolate chip cookies I've been on like a brown butter um roll lately but if you guys haven't watched that video go ahead and check it out very easy recipe that i'm pretty sure that you would enjoy now let's jump right into the recipe so for this recipe we'll be using a half a cup of unsalted butter we're going to go ahead and put it in a nice little pan over medium high flame and we're going to allow it to melt stirring occasionally you want to pay close attention to your butter because it takes just one split second for it to burn and we don't want to do that browning the butter normally takes around seven to eight minutes um, you'll start to smell that nutty aroma once it gets to that point you want to turn your flame off immediately and set it aside to cool of course you don't want to allow it to cool for too long because then it will start to solidify again. So we're gonna go ahead and crush our bananas while the butter's cooling. I'm using three bananas. And as you guys may know, if you go to my website, jamincuisine.info, and you go to any one of my recipes, you'll be able to shop all the ingredients for that specific recipe. And it's done through Instacart, so you can have the groceries delivered straight to your front door, or you could go ahead and pick it up. All right, so now that the butter's cooled off a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and add or sugar. So I'm using both um, light brown sugar and granulated sugar. When I'm baking, I always like using a mixture of sugar, um, the granulated sugar for extra sweetness, brown sugar, of course, for that um, texture, and it adds a lot of flavor to your baked goods. So half a cup of light brown sugar and a quarter cup of granulated sugar of course you can use more or less sugar depending on the sweetness that you're looking for or you could use one cup of each i don't like my um, banana bread too sweet i'm gonna add my crushed banana to that mix it all in then we're gonna add our egg i'm using one egg mix all that in at this time your oven should be preheated to 350 degrees fahrenheit i think that's around 180 degrees celsius then we're gonna add our vanilla extract, two teaspoons. I never really measure my vanilla extract, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> but yeah, now we're gonna add our dry ingredients to this. So I will be using one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Make sure that it's leveled. A teaspoon of baking soda. Of course, you could substitute a teaspoon of baking powder instead, or you could do half and half. And also um, a pinch of salt, which is very, very crucial. Please remember to add salt in your baking goods. That's going to elevate the flavor a lot. I also took it a step further to add um, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. This nutmeg is straight from Jamaica. As you can see, I got the grater and everything. My mom brought this on her trip here and this is just so amazing. I love me some nutmeg. But of course guys, you can skip the cinnamon and the nutmeg. It's not uh, a must have in a banana bread, but flavor wise, definitely. We're gonna mix all that in. I also added two tablespoons of milk. Um, I don't like my banana bread to be too dry and this is definitely going to help with the moisture. Then we're going to fold our chocolate chips in. I'm using a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Of course this is optional but trust me when I tell you it's going to make it even more delicious. Um, I'm using a 9x5 pan. I added a little bit of oil and I'll be using a piece of parchment paper so it's easy to take my banana bread out once it's finished. I also added some extra chocolate chips on top because why not? Alright guys, we're going to bake for around 45 minutes checking in between with a knife or a toothpick and we'll see how it's looking. So I ended up baking mine for around 50 minutes because it was still a little wet when I checked it. So 50-55 minutes is perfect. However, I am using a gas stove, a gas oven. Maybe if you're using an electric oven, I don't know if that's gonna make a difference, but just make sure you keep an eye on your banana bread. But this is how it came out. It's looking beautiful. She's a beauty, right? And of course, I could not wait until it cooled to slice right into it. It is so 
good and it's crazy because i don't like my banana bread to be too banana-y is that a thing you get what i'm trying to say <laughs> But surprisingly, whenever I make banana bread, it's not like overwhelmingly packed with that banana flavor. So if you're someone like me, pretty sure you can relate. You have to try this recipe. And of course, if you're someone who prefers um, like written recipe over a video like this, don't worry. The recipe will be posted to the website in just a few days for you guys. Once it's completed, I will come back and post the link in the description to take you to the direct recipe on my website. As usual, you guys, thank you so much for rocking with me. If you're not yet subscribed, you want to subscribe to Jamming Cuisine. Come join the family. Make sure you hit that bell so you're notified whenever I drop another recipes. As usual, you guys, walk good. Stay safe. Until next time.